This is a really cool box that we made. It's called Mojo Synth. So we have the, the the real version. The the real design is over there with the red with the red print and the red motors. This is the Hello Kitty version with the, with the pink pink motors. Uh, so the way it, the way it works, it produces sound uh, by by harvesting the. Uh, electromagnetic and uh, kinetic energy of a motor. So here I have these like little mini keys. So I'll, I'll turn off this modulation stuff. So, right. so this. These are two more. Two, like so. Okay, the synthesizer is a four voice, uh, like four note polyphonic, analog electromechanical synth with uh, two voices per key. So here I have low voice and my high voice. And I can select the waveforms for, for each one of them. So right now they're both set on, on the motor waveform. If you can film that, I don't know. If you can see that there's, uh, there's a little, like, little, little symbols of wave shapes, right? So the M wave shape is the, like, the electromagnetic energy picked up by a little like uh, inductor. That occurs naturally as the coils in the motor are spinning. And uh, I'm going to turn off this voice now. So this is the square wave. Sa saw wave and sine. Patterns printed. So uh, these are just a kind of uh, like. So this is a, a gradient pattern printed on aluminum disc, and uh, we are bouncing an in infrared beam towards the disc, and it reflects back to the, into the sensor. And uh, so the the, the 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 beam is static, and as the disc spins like underneath underneath the beam. So the darker regions on this absorb the, absorb the light and don't bounce it back, and the transparent regions bounce it back. And so here we have, see a graphical representation of a sine wave. It goes gradually from light to dark, light to dark. And then if you introduce the motion, then you can get the wave shape of the sine at a certain frequency. And for example, this one in the middle, that's a square wave. So it goes like, like that. So that's how you make uh, analog wave shapes, like with optical sensors. So um, also we have a lot of interesting features. There's, I don't know how much time you have for this video, but there's a, we've tried to make it like in the best traditions of synthesizers, of analog synths. There's a lot of uh, like, ideas borrowed uh, from Moog and uh, Oberheims and like Dave Smith and like that kind of stuff. But basically we have filter section, I'll show, you, show that. So I can select if I want to switch on the filter for each voice. separate envelopes for both voices. For right now working with one voice. I can go like this. So you can switch into arpeggiation mode.
also uh, select what, like a setting for the for the polyphony. So, for example, here I'm in mono mode. But if I go into unison mode, then all modes are going to work together. Acceleration. So, so it, it, here I'm setting it up a slow acceleration curve. So, so basically, it's just a, like, I, I can, I can uh, for example, I can set up a scale. Like, a, let's do, let's do a, whatever a minor scale. And uh, now... And now I can also set up that these like frequency things, like the, 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 these spinny things, they can respond in infinite like steps. So, one sec. Uh, so, so that, that's good for making like race car sound. That's good for that. But uh, I can I can select so that now they're gonna move up in quarter notes or half uh, half note half tone. material for any type of arpeggiation like We are really hoping to destroy these speakers by the end of the Super Booth. 